Okay, so I've um, uploaded another picture of another dog, and here's what I've got. This is my thumb that I created. This is uh, my picture called Flavia, and maybe I want to draw this picture onto this picture. So I want to map one picture onto another picture. Um, so I can do that as goes like this. So the first thing I got to do is grab my um, two files. So this is file one. Let's uh, file get contents. I want to grab uh, my new big file, which is called flavor.jpg. And I'm going to call this guy canvas because that's the one I'm going to be um, drawing onto because that's the bigger picture. It kind of makes more sense. So let's uh, image create from string uh, file one. Okay. And then I want to grab my second picture. File get to contents. Let's see. Thumb. Oops. Dot JPEG. And we'll call this, uh, let's call it stamp because I'm going to stamp it onto the other picture. Uh, image create from string. But again, I'm just choosing these uh, variable names to be whatever I want. Okay, so I've got them both loaded. Um, I'm going to need to know their widths and heights um, to be able to work with the shapes without getting really distorted. So I'm going to grab these out as variables. Um, I'm going to call this W canvas for width of canvas, uh, width canvas, let's call it C, that'll be shorter. So images S, X of canvas, let's call this height of C, images X, Y of canvas, and then I'm going to grab the width and height of the stamp, so X stamp, oh. and the height of the stamp is X, Y of the stamp. Okay. And now it's just my copy resampled command, um, but I have to figure out what goes where. So this is image copy resampled. Okay. My destination is my canvas. So that's where that's going. My source is my stamp. Okay. My destination, upper left and upper Y. Well, if I'm looking at this thing, I kind of want to aim it like here. So I'm going to say, okay, that's going to be the width of this thing minus the width of this guy so that it has room to sit there. So let's say this is the, the width of C minus the width of S. Okay. Um, same thing for the height. I need to get up from the bottom enough to have room to put it in. So it's the height of C minus the height of S. Okay. And then I need my source upper left and upper uh, upper left X and Y. So that's literally just zero zero because I want to copy the entire picture. If you wanted to copy a part of a picture, then this number wouldn't be zero zero, but I want the whole thing. Okay. Then I need my um, destination width. So that's going to be the full size of the stamp. So S and the height for the destination. So that's going to be height S. And then I need the width and height of my source material, um, which is actually the same two numbers because I want it. I don't want to scale it when I'm stamping it. Um, I just want to use the values it already has. Okay. And we'll see if that worked. Um, well, well, we'll see very soon. So let's make the file. Um, I am going to write the canvas into a file. Let's call it stamped. Oops. JPEG. Um, destroy my canvases. To write my new one onto here, so I called it stamped. And we'll see if I got all my values right. Let's see. Come over here, refresh this page. Okay, let's see. Moment of truth. 
Oh, there's my little picture stamped on the bottom right hand corner of my other picture. Um, I can write as many different pictures as I want onto here. I can sample this multiple times onto here. I can draw on it and then sample. I can do a variety of things to get um, images edited however I like.